shout out to Minutes of Horror for reporting on this story. It really cracked me up when you said they demanded proof of life and laughed. Good stuff and good work. You all check him out and show him some love. In a shocking announcement on Sunday, President Joe Biden announced he's bowing out of the 2024 election fray, but there's a twist. Not a single picture or video captured this monumental moment when a president with half a century in the political limelight opts out of the race for another term. The absence of any visual proof has sparked a fresh pot of tea to spill online about Biden's condition. Firebrand Lauren Boebert, Republican from Colorado, is calling for proof of life by 5 p.m. after noting the missing evidence. Right-wing talk show host Charlie Kirk stirred the pot today, floating the unfounded claim that Biden wasn't simply at home in Delaware shaking off bug 19 with a post on X. He instead bandied about the claim that the president may be dead. Mysteriously, there was a stand-down order, and the USSS informed local Vegas PD that they were going to medevac, POTUS to Johns Hopkins, which they presumed meant fly him back east ASAP. Apparently, the rumor mill in the police department was that Joe Biden was dying or possibly already dead. What do you think? Leave a comment in the box below. It's really weird, I must say. Today, Boebert retweeted Kirk's theory and demanded that Biden shows proof of life. Today by 5 p.m., he needs to get in front of some cameras and discuss if he's aware that he dropped out. The conspiracy theory has been doing the rounds on X with various accounts sharing infographics comparing Democrats' signatures as they wildly speculate about who could have signed the letters. Others are convinced there's been a coup. Not one to shy away from controversy, GOP Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene, Republican Georgia, threw her opinion into the mix, which is now being dissected by internet sleuths. The Democrats, the IC, and their activists in the media have been lying to us saying there's nothing wrong with Biden for years. Next, they start a coup against him demanding he drop out of the race when they couldn't hide it anymore, she posted. Then came the assassination attempt on Trump for the crime of winning. Today, Joe Biden, after weeks of saying he's in, announces he is dropping out of the presidential race, but remains POTUS. The Bidens must have gotten the price they demanded for the presidential library that will pay the entire family for years to come, she added, fueling the fire of speculation.